Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Got a Head Core 103W for you today. Great choice for that all mountain slash free ride skier. Looking for something with a unique blend of lightweight and a stiff flex. These Head Core skis, <clears throat> excuse me, we've talked about them for years and having that nice mix of a lightweight due to the construction and then that stiff flex uh, due to the carbon laminate. So it's a very unique ski. <clears throat> they did update it a little bit for 2023. Uh, they've always kind of, you know, foregone the top sheet on these core skis. Uh, it led to kind of a chattery behavior and uh, not quite as durable in the, in the top sheet. So they just added a top sheet and it really did a, a lot in terms of quieting the ski, making it less chattery. Uh, and then increasing the durability. So it's a nice little update for this ski. Uh, <clears throat> not a wholesale change, doesn't really alter the performance of the ski a whole lot. Just kind of makes it a little bit calmer and more quiet. Uh, we are still built with a blend of Karuba and Poplar in the wood core. Uh, nice light energetics uh, core to start with. And then we have carbon laminate on the top and on the bottom, as well as fiberglass and graphene. Uh, that upper laminate of carbon is curved. Anytime you're curving or bending or putting carbon in a three-dimensional format, you're stiffening, you're stiffening it. Uh, that leads to that stiffer flex in this ski. So that <clears throat> combined with the graphene certainly makes this ski feel a lot stiffer than the weight lets on. Really strong choice uh, for mostly soft snow skiers you know, would serve well as a second ski in a quiver, or if you ski mostly in a place with a lot of snow, uh, good for you. This would make a great daily driver for sure. Uh, but really nice mix of that lightweight and stiff flex. 15.2 uh, meter turn radius in this 170 centimeter length. Uh, definitely has that kind of more straight cut to it than we see. A lot of that has to do with the increase of taper uh, but it's not so much that it infringes on that waist width. So keeping that at 103, uh, really important and uh, for flotation as well as stability. As these head core skis get wider, they also increase in taper and rocker. So versus the 97, 91, 85, we're seeing more rocker and taper in this 103 for sure. We still have that nice positive camber underfoot and then in this rocker profile starting down here, leading to a pretty aggressive splay here. There's a lot of room between those tips and that's gonna make these skis float really, really well. And then a spoonier shape in the shovel in terms of the taper. So we see that early taper going out, uh, widest parts brought down in the ski and that just makes that ski stay out of the snow and float really, really well. Similar theory in the tail more splay, longer rocker, more free ride personality than the narrower cores. It's still not a huge bowed out twin tip like we see in some other uh, free ride skis in this, in this width range. Keeping it more squarely in that all mountain category in terms of performance and overall character, uh, but a great choice for skiers that are, you know, mostly in soft snow, but still want some of that all mountain performance. Taper is brought down lower. Again, makes that tail just super easy to release, adds to the playful character of the ski, which, you know, for a ski as stiff as this, you know, generally that's not going to be a strong point. Um, so they do have to build that into the ski in order to make it uh, behave like more of a playful free ride ski. But overall, awesome job by head at, with these updates. Uh, check out this core 103W here at skiessentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.